Vaktı bulundur değil mi Nepalılarla? Ha? Sahan Doseva of Kazakhstan claims she recently celebrated her 130th birthday. A government census taker discovered her in the town of Prishaktinsk near Karaganda. Despite her age, she's more than happy to sing for visitors, an old Kazakh nomad favorite. <laughs> Sahan has witnessed the Russian Revolution and two world wars during her lifetime. If she's as old as she claims, she shares her birth decade with Vladimir Lenin and Joseph Stalin. In an area known for its rich mineral resources, Sahan experienced the region's turbulent history. May everyone be healthy, peace be on our nation, and good luck amongst all of us. Sahan Doseva's passport and identity card show her date of birth as March 27, 1879, and local newspapers headline her as the world's oldest living human. But there is no official birth certificate, and logistical difficulties at the time made errors common. One of her granddaughters is her full-time caregiver. She grew up as an orphan. Her husband was killed for a bundle of wood. She used to say, I'd go in the morning to work in the field, come back home afterwards, and my baby would be dead in its cradle. She lost seven of her children through hunger and the cold. And from those children who survived, one son and two daughters. And I am the eldest granddaughter. Skeptics have questioned the claims, as she has a 76-year-old daughter meaning she would have given birth at age 54. Guinness World Records does not recognize her age because they require verification of age with a birth record. But the Associated Press reports the local statistics agency in Kazakhstan says the Government Department for Social Justice confirmed her age. Kazakhs say the main thing is to have a kind heart. She's very kind. She gave to everyone whatever she had, to her daughters and sons, and she raised them. She gave them her love. She still has reasonable eyesight, and her legs continue to carry her, with a little assistance. Her doctor, who gives her regular checkups, says she believes her patient is as old as she claims. I was incredibly surprised. Such patients are not just unusual in my region. In the whole of Karaganda, there are no patients like her. We know people live long in the Caucasus, for example, so I was very surprised. So I demanded they bring the passport to prove it. And it was as the grandchildren said, this granny is alert. She realizes what she's doing. Her mind is sharp. Whatever her true age, no one can dispute that this woman has lived a remarkable life.